so hi friends welcome back to laravel tutorial in this video i am going to show you how to use jwt authentication and i will show you full login registration process and after that the profile and generate new tokens so all the things we will cover using jwt authentication okay so for this i need to install the laravel application so just use composer create project and laravel slash laravel and suppose my project name is laravel jwt auth okay so just enter this so it will create a project so it may take some time so project is installed now just go to the laravel jwt authentication and just open the visual studio code so here i am using the visual studio code for development purpose so this is my application so you can see so this is the fresh installation and now run the server so php artisan serve okay so this links are created so just copy the link and go to the firefox and let's paste this so you can see this is the latest version that is the 8.59 of this laravel so basically i will do here we will create all the things that is the login registrations and all the required things for authentication with the jwt and we'll test through the postman so first connect the server so just go to the localhost php my admin and just create a database so here my database name is suppose laravel jwt auth okay so just copy this to use in the environment section so just go here and this is a dot env file and just connect with the database so my database name is laravel jwt authentication and username root and password is abcd123 at the rate okay so database configuration section is ready so we need to migrate our database so if you check here inside the database we have a migration folder and here we have four migration files so let's migrate this so just create another tab so that php artisan migrate okay just enter this so migration is done now just go here and refresh the structure so here we can see the four tables and the migration tables okay so all the things are ready so application is installed and database is connected so next things we need to do we need to install the jwt authentication and configure into our application so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video